Oh boy, it's finally time, wizards. We're going back to one of my favorites with another plate carrier review. I actually teased the hell out of this one in our Ready or Not loadout video, so I'm really excited to show it to you and break it all down. The plate carrier we'll be looking at today is the Dynamic Plate Carrier, or DPC, from Dynamic Principles. We also have a giveaway with that exact Ready or Not carrier that I wore. Well, it, it doesn't have all the coolness on it, but if you wanna win that, make sure to look down in the description. I left a link down there where you can enter to win. I also don't have a discount code yet, so if you're watching this in the future, make sure to try discount code TLDCO. You may be pleasantly surprised and you may save a few bucks. I think from the options to just how smartly everything's put together that you guys are gonna absolutely love this. I really think of it as like that Shaw or First Spear level, but it's also a little bit more badass so you don't feel like you wanna wear chinos or <laughs> blazers. I'll show you what I mean, but first, let's take a moment, thank today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you in part by Optic Swap. In a world of shady dealings on marketplaces where you just get ripped off, Optic Swap provides you a safe and secure site to buy, sell, and trade your high-end thermals, optics, and night vision. So whether you're looking to save a bit on a used set or purchase new, or just upgrade your current inventory, OpticSwap has your back to provide safety and security to your purchase. Having some Facebook moron steal all your money is highly likely on a lot of those sites, so make sure to use OpticSwap if you wanna upgrade or get something new, but do it in a safe and secure way. Big love to OpticSwap for the support they give to the entire firearms community and for the support they give us here at TLD. Now though, for the next section, we gotta do everyone's favorite part, my biases. I'll be honest, I don't think anybody cares about this, because with literally anything, I'm probably biased in some way, even if I don't realize it. But I will tell you, Dynamic Principles did send me this DPC to review for all of you. I do also think the owner of Dynamic Principles is a great guy, and we do talk gear and train CQB together during our free time. It's also one of those situations where I want gear from good people, and Dynamic Principles is just good-ass people. I'm sure not thinking the owner is a scumbag makes me biased in some way. So as with everything, don't take what I say or any other YouTuber says as gospel. Do your own research, watch other videos so you can be the most educated consumer possible. All right though, I think that's all the stuff we have to say to keep all the mouth breathers from crying. Next though, let's take a look at our current plate carrier rankings and see where everything stands. It's been a minute since we've done one of these, so I gotta take a look. In our current rankings, we have our K19 and Shaw Arc leading the load-bearing side, the K0, Javelin Ajax, and MEPC holding the top of the slimline carriers, and our APOC as the lone king of the hill on the hybrid carrier side. The DPC is more that direct assaulter style of carrier, so I'll be ranking it up more against the slimline side. Like, you could probably load this up if you wanted to. It just wouldn't excel there and is really more designed to be the fast and light. Now, Dynamic Principles does give you an absolute ton of options when putting together the DPC. So let's go over all the different options on the website and what you need in order to get yourself all put together. Now, the first one is obvious, the plate bags. You need a front and a rear. As you'll see, the carrier uses a specialized fit 3D bag around the plates instead of being just a big sleeve. So make sure to pay attention to the plate sizing as it's based off your plate sizes and cuts. This part is a bit different, but it plays a part in how everything works together in a big way. So just be aware that sappy plates, because it's gonna be fit around your actual plates, sappy sizes are standard, so sappy's gonna be the same through everything. Whereas a 10 by 12 plate, it's not really a standard, so it can just be a little bit more of a random whatever. So if you have plates, or you're putting everything together and don't know exactly what to get to marry up with what, contact Dynamic Principles and he'll help you out knowing kind of what plates fit in what plate size bags. But once you have your front and rear, next you select a cummerbund. These come in all the options you could want from elastic to structural to hybrid. I have all those so you can see them all up close when we start to put the whole plate carrier together too so you can know which one you want. I'm wearing the hybrid and it is just like that chef kiss level of awesome though. Now the cummerbund actually connects into the placard, but if you don't want that, then grab these Velcro adapters. And yes, if you're wondering, these tactics buckles can be swapped out for whatever you want. I prefer first spear tubes, so I probably will eventually swap these out. I just, I just like them better. But the cool part is you could use whatever you want, whatever you prefer. Now, if you want your setup to be full on awesome, you gotta also select the placard. The standard Micro Molly is three mag and the wide is four. 
And yes, I also have both of those. And yes, I will show you both of them so you can make the smartest buying choice. But the wide is more for like 308 mags or if you want to run four up front. But with the cool insert designs, there's also some neat stuff you can do that I'll show you. But that's it with all the pieces that you need, your front and rear bag, your cummerbund, and your placard in order to assemble your whole DPC. So let's put it all on the bench and break it all down and take a look at it. And yes, I'll assemble the whole ready or not loadout so you can see it as we put everything together. Now the giveaway does have some of the older bits like the version one shoulder pads. They're still awesome though, and I think you're gonna love it. Looking at the top of the front plate bag, we instantly see that unique part I mentioned. The plate bag itself is formed around the plate with the shoulder straps coming off of the rear of the bag. Now this seems small, but what this does is it removes that gap between like the shoulder strap and the plate carrier. So instead this strap rides along my chest all the way up. And what that does is, well, in theory, what that does is gives you a more consistent cheek weld placement for your rifle. We'll see about that when we go to the actual test, but this flat strap to the body is kind of the mantra around this entire DPC. If you notice too, the angle and spacing of the shoulder straps is done perfectly. So you can actually be mildly athletic and not have straps gouging into your neck. Like the spit and raisins, a super fancy carrier has that just, just straight straps that just lace your neck to pieces. So make a small gasp because you actually have a carrier here that'll work if you've, if you've ever been to a gym in your life. It's just funny because in just the brief moment we've seen this, We've seen a ton of good stuff that isn't just, just Instagram garbage. If we look at the top of the bag, we see some smart loops we can use for various comms routing or specialty gear, like chem lights, medical, or hydration hoses. The front panel has a standard loop back three x four molly section, so you can connect in various admin panels, pouches, or ID markers, or whatever. For our setup, we used our juggernaut mount with our phone that juggernaut annoyingly doesn't even support anymore. I'll say that if I was ever gonna do another like chest phone ATAC setup, I would, I would never go juggernaut again. The SNS Flipboard light just seems a whole lot smarter and Dynamic Fuzz makes some really, really cool covers for it that I wanna get. Moving down the sides of the carrier though, there are elastic sections that cover the top of the quasim buckle. Here you can connect comm straight in like this goofy meme Poltec setup I was running but you could also run your standard PTT connectors underneath to secure everything. Now, instead of running vertical molly slots, you just have these two slots for your quasim buckle, and you could also remove these for G-hooks if you wanted to streamline it all down. I personally like to use G-hooks in this area instead of the quasim buckles, because I think it makes your PTT and everything sit a little bit nicer and cleaner, but the DPC came with quasim buckles, so I just kept everything together. Moving down, we see a large hook and loop field to connect in whatever placard system you want to use. I have the Dynamic Principles Micro Molly placard with a two mag and two pistol insert, so I can do tools and a flashlights, and then have mags for a more CQB setup. The Micro Molly also has the split buckles we mentioned, so we could flip these out to first beer tubes if you wanted that connection or whatever you want instead. The placard also has a fully molly front to add in additional pouches like this cantable mag pouch, along with molly sides if you wanted to add in side tool pouches. I use the elastic sleeves on the side to add in chem lights, but these don't get in the way at all if you were to molly items along the side instead. On the bottom of the placard is more molly to add in other items, and I placed a tourniquet pouch along this bottom section. The main thing about the micro molly placard is it's clean, it's compact, and it's easy to get to everything. Unlike other people, this is not just version five of a laser cut open pocket. This is actually amazing. I love this because all the inserts are reinforced too. So you don't have the overpriced elastic garbage. Instead of my configuration, you could also do a standard three mag insert, a pistol and two AR-10 mags or five SMG mags. You could also do the big boy wide placard, which has all the same features, but it's just, you know, wider, allowing for a bunch of other options like three AR mag, one pistol, six SMG mags, three AR-10 mags, or even two pistol, two AR-10 mags. So with the placard, it's well designed with great inserts to give you an absolute boat ton of options. One more secret hidden thing here, with our cummerbund connected into our placard, this does two different things. Number one, it helps to secure a whole placard down, but it also makes this small pocket right here on the front that makes it perfect to add in some additional pouches. Due to this smartness, I added in a magazine wing to fit my radio and then routed all the cables and connected our placard into our front bag to get all situated. 
One bit I did add in was this SOCP dagger wing to have a rescue tool on the front of the carrier. For a more civilian role, I think having a rescue tool is far more realistic than some $400 knife that I probably just take pictures of. I'll say this too, I own a whole ton of knives that are super expensive that I'll probably never use. So I recommend you be smarter than me, buy knives that you're actually gonna use and that you won't be mad when they break and you could just replace them. It's way smarter than whatever dumb I'm doing. <laughs> Getting back to the carrier though, moving to the bottom of the front plate bag, we see it has slits to add gear, route cables, and also have a better fit around our plates. Opening this up, we see that we don't have a huge pocket and instead have that 3D space custom molded for our plates. And Dynamic Principles has a different take on plate carriers when it comes to this. They want your actual plate bag to fit your plates with no additional excess material, unlike some other plate carriers that we've seen that fit any other size plate, but then may have a bag that's just way larger than you actually need or have a bunch of extra material. So that part may be a challenge if you're swapping plates between a bunch of different carriers, but if you take the time to set it all up and get it all configured right, you have this crazy clean configuration. I use the RMA SRT plates that are just insane at two and a half pounds, and I highly recommend these for an absolutely bonkers setup. We'll talk about these more when we get into the actual like plate testing portion, but yes, TLDCO works on the RMA website also, save you quite a few bucks. Interestingly, we don't see an inside strap, but with the plates fitting perfectly inside, it's much less needed. Moving to the rear bag, we see a mimic design to the front with the shoulder straps in a smart angle, along with the same elastic sections along the side of the bag to help with routing comms and equipment. We see the same three x four loop back molly section, and here I added in some Pimp's flashbang pouches to get things set up like we did in that ready or not video configuration. The remainder of the rear bag is full molly if you want to connect in any other gear or rear packs. Like I did here, I routed in all of our comms and antenna equipment from Cattail Antennas. There is also a standard cry zipper system if you wanted to incorporate any of the bags that use the zipper style system. I fixed whatever camera nonsense was going on, by the way. Thankfully, Dynamic Principles just uses the standard cry zipper instead of just making something different and proprietary to be an a-hole. There are a few other chodes out there on the market that make their zippers like one tooth short, so you have to use their stuff. And if that's you, we hate you. I will also say though that the zipper style, uh, I really don't prefer it compared to a lot of the new stuff we're seeing coming out on the market anyway. Near the bottom, we see the cummerbund connection that thankfully uses a covered hook and loop system to connect everything in easily. Another fun side note here, if you make your plate carrier with bungee lashing garbage, we also hate you. Thankfully, this DPC setup is great, and we see the bottom bag slits for comm and gear along with the plate-specific pocket. Oh, I think I forgot this on the front, but both the front and the rear bags use mesh along the inside to give a nice breathable and padded material against the body. Moving finally to cummerbunds, you have a ton of great options here. The standard elastic molly has three mag sections that you could add bungee retention to, along with a smaller fourth section for a tourniquet or other tools. For kind of a purchasing guide, the elastic cummerbund is what you wanna have if you wanna have a plate carrier that just has the maximum level of comfort you could possibly get. And since we already have this space here with our cummerbund connecting into our placard, so we can put in our side wings and extra equipment, comfort may be the only thing we need but there is also a structural Tegris cummerbund that sacrifices some comfort for rigidity, but also has a stretchy rear section to give you some room to breathe when things just get crazy. Now the structural cummerbund is more for when you really wanna load things up as an elastic cummerbund just doesn't really do well there, but the structural cummerbund isn't nearly as comfortable. But what if you want a little bit of both? The hybrid structural cummerbund here is my favorite. It uses a Tegra section to give you that rigidity, but then has the elastic portion to pull double duty to give you a front mag or tool pouch and have that best of both worlds rigidity and comfort. But Dynamic Principles really gives you all the options to have that Goldilocks and the Three Bears level of comfort options. I'll give you this final recommendation. If you're just gonna absolutely load it up, I'll probably say to get the structural cummerbund, 
but otherwise I would just go for the hybrid as I think this hybrid cummerbund is one of my favorite bits about this entire plate carrier. Okay, are we finally ready for test yet? Oh, wait, hold on, we gotta do shoulder straps. Moving to the top straps, we see that they're lined with the same padded mesh material as the inside of the plate bags. The shoulder strap has also been updated to version two that has horizontal and vertical molly slots to allow you to incorporate QD rear packs like the recondite from Defense Mechanisms or the rear panel from Javelin Concepts. The straps are extremely low profile, but wide to reduce pain points while still keeping a low profile. The shoulder straps also have a buckle along the rear to allow the plate bags to be modular with the Dynamic Principles chest rig also. I need to show you that later, but yes, you can actually connect in a chest rig to everything also, and no, you don't just lay it on top. It actually incorporates in, like, intelligently. All right, though, we went over an absolute ton of stuff, and now we're gonna get into the test, and here's one I normally despise, but I actually didn't today, with the shoulder strap and cummerbund adjustment test. Here the cummerbunds all connect via hook and loop, so adjustments are easy, but you'll likely need to take this carrier off to adjust it properly. Now with the cummerbund connecting into the placard, that means you don't have a place up front to make those micro adjustments, but I did find that with the hybrid cummerbund and the elastic, I didn't find I needed to make those micro adjustments like I did on a lot of other carriers. So I kind of feel like they purposely designed a better mousetrap in that regard. The shoulder straps are similarly easy, but would also need to be removed as you need to remove the shoulder strap cover, but then the adjustment itself is easy to loosen and adjust. Just I guess the question is, are you doing any of those adjustments while wearing it? I mean, you certainly could, but probably not. You'd probably take it off. But I also did find I had so much flexibility within the carrier that I didn't need to make a lot of those micro adjustments that I've had to do on other setups before. Now though, let's do the next test, and this is size adjustment range. This is one you may wanna take note of if your plate carrier like serves double duty and you use it with somebody else, or if your plate carrier is kinda like a backup to your spouse. For me, the DPC gave me a fantastic fit. Like this carrier was designed for me to fit like a glove and give me both a low profile and feature rich setup where everything was in the right place. Now, swapping this to my wife, the shoulder straps couldn't really get small enough without removing the shoulder pads, and I got the cummerbund as tight as possible. So while it did work, yeah, you can tell this carrier was designed for someone far larger. Here we have a plate carrier that's designed for my chest size and my plate size, and I think it makes sense as a smaller plate bag would have smaller shoulder straps to fit a smaller frame. I just want you to be aware that this carrier will likely fit larger frames, but it doesn't do well to size down to fit smaller petite female frames, but they're probably gonna use a different size plate than me anyway. It's a weird one, but if you get the actual correct plate size to fit you, you're absolutely gonna love it. All right, though, the next test is another, a little bit nuanced one with this carrier and plays into the same thing we just talked about, plate insertion and size. As I mentioned when we were talking purchasing, the bags are designed and ordered in a specific size to use plates such as this RMA in a sappy standard and struggle to use anything outside that range due to the bag itself being cut exactly for specific dimensions. Now, I do wanna say thicker plates do just fine because it seems like it kind of stretches out as the material for the plates actually get thicker, but make sure to check with Dynamic Principles to see what size bag fits with your plates instead of just thinking that you're gonna just throw some random plates into this and then not have the right plate bag size. Not gonna lie to you, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this as it's a bit tricky to initially get set up, but then once you have it all married up, it makes for a far, far better overall plate carrier setup. So yeah, that's one you can have to balance for yourself. I didn't find it so annoying that I got mad about it if that's any sort of indication. All right though, the next test is the available colorways. For colors, we see the standard of multicam, black, ranger green, Multicam Black for my basement bros, and Coyote. So normal basic colors, but there is a custom shop that Dynamic Principles also does. So you could contact them if you want to do some crazy custom work and have one of those truly unique one-off patterns. Those apparently take some time, but it's really cool that Dynamic Principles has a tool to work with people who want to have like a very specific color setup on their gear. I mean, kind of like, I don't know, Multicam Alpine? 
That's the secret though, and I realized I skipped the donning and doffing test. There's there's zero issue here because you just take these off and <laughs> reconnect them. It's probably probably the easiest carrier to take off and put on ever, but I probably would want to switch out to first spear tubes instead of using these tactics buckles. Now though, the next test is the expansion test and the DPC absolutely murders this. From being able to use different placards to smart reinforced inserts, to being able to connect in gear in so many different ways, you can do anything. Rear molly, standard zippers, comrading all over with so many pouch options. The whole setup can go slick or just totally wild. The only caveat being is if you guys wanna use some different placards, you may need to use, based on the design of that placard you wanna use, the hook and loop QDs. But the micro molly placard is so good, you, you won't wanna do that. All right, next we have another fantastic one, and this is the rifle cheek weld test. Here's where all the magic of the custom fit for the plate comes together. The shoulder straps sit so close to the body that your stock isn't fighting against them in any way giving me one of the best and most consistent rifle configurations I've had to date. It just works really, really well in those CQB roles, and I was constantly impressed when using this when I was doing some different training and some different classes. So there is that trade-off of spending more time to get the plate and the bags all married up, but it pays off just hugely in just getting an absolutely amazing rifle cheek weld that you can't really beat with anything else. Those RMA SRT plates with this carrier just help to make it totally insane too. I highly recommend this configuration. All right, love the results of that test. I was definitely impressed. Next, we have one test left though with the prone comfort test. With the design kept strictly to what it needs and nothing extra, I didn't have any spots or weird pads jutting into my chest. The whole setup felt clean and comfortable and easy to move around in the hybrid cummerbund was again a shining spot as it helped me adapt positions without jabbing into me as I moved around. Prone went really great too though, and I really like how this plate here does well in just about everything. So what are my final thoughts and rankings? Overall, I think the DPC is one of my absolute favorite carriers I've seen with its wild expansion and ingenious design on every single part. But there are also a few challenges with the sizing to fit smaller size frames. And you also have to spend some additional time planning out your setup in terms of plates, making the barrier to entry a little higher. For that reason, I placed the dynamic plate carrier in second place due to still just absolutely loving this thing. So while the barrier to entry and the cost of this are a little bit higher, I do highly, highly recommend you check it out as you're getting that insane level of berry compliant quality for significantly less than the other Gucci brands that are giving you the same exact thing. Now the ranking and the chart and all that, it's more for my new users and people who are new into the tactical world. And the DPC does take a little bit more knowledge in gear and plates and all that. But for my veteran users out there, I'll tell you that you couldn't possibly be happier with this setup. To add some additional comparison, I liken the DPC to the Shaw Art Carrier, but with all the Shaw bulk and overcomplicated bits removed to give you an even better carrier on the DPC for a lower price. Plus they're both very compliant, so you're doing a lot more of comparing apples to apples with those two. I absolutely recommend the DPC to you because I think you're gonna be in love with it. And I do recommend you use discount code TLDCO particularly if you're in the future somewhere, try to save yourself a few bucks and definitely nag dynamic principles if the code isn't working. Oh, and snag some cantable mag pouches also. You'll thank me for that later. But I hope this video on the dynamic principles DPC was useful in your purchasing decisions. I wanna say thanks to all of our YouTube and Patreon members. You guys make it possible we can test all this gear, see what's good and come back to you and recommend these crazy styles of plate carriers that just blow me away. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Oh my God, I almost make it through every time. I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what your absolute favorite plate carrier is. I'll try to get a hold of it, compare it against this, see which one's better. All right, everyone, Walsh out. All right, so there were no airplanes today, but I think it was like the windiest day on the planet. I'm just wondering like, just how much wind is gonna be cut out of this. Uh, yeah, DPC, fantastic carrier. I think it's one of those where you're getting that really, really, really high tier. 
yeah, it costs a little bit extra, but you're not being charged like the stupid Instagram level costs that, I don't know, there's a lot of price gouging as soon as Barry compliant gets thrown into the mix. Like Barry compliant to me just means we're gonna gouge you and we know it. So that's awesome to see a carrier that's put together so well, that's Barry compliant. That's just, just oozes quality. And it's, it's the tier that you wanna have. It's, it's totally nuts. Uh, trying to think about what I have next. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, I remember now. We're doing some cool stuff on cold weather layering. And yes, I have another secret plate here that I, I can't talk about. Another good one. You're going to want to hear about it. It's fantastic. All right. You got to go. It's windy. It's nice. I'm going to go enjoy the day. You guys do the same. All right. Get out of here. Go check this thing out. TLDCO. Go, go nag dynamic principles for me. I'll, I'll appreciate you for it. All right. Later, everybody.